Welcome to this episode from the Science Revision Channel. Today we're looking at fieldwork techniques. So that's been able to use quadrats and transects to work out the abundance, that's how many, and distribution, which is how spread out they are, of a species in an ecosystem. I would also add that there is a worksheet for this lesson available in the description below. Let's get straight in. First of all, I've got this area of field over here that we want to sample, and we want to estimate the population of a plant species using random sampling. So the type of plant we're going to be looking at is this flower you can see here, which we call clover flower, and it's growing all over the field. So the question that you could be asked is to work out an estimate for how much clover flower is growing in that field. Well, here's our area to be sampled, and the first thing that we need to do is we need to work out the size, the area of that field. A good piece of equipment we can use for that is a tape measure, or this device here called the trundle wheel. Every time it clicks, that's an extra meter. So we can work out the width of the field, and we can work out the length of the field, and use those to calculate our total area. So we can see the width is 30 meters, the length is 55 meters, and when we multiply those two together, it gives us 1,650 square meters where this clover flower is growing. The next stage is to make sure that you randomly select the areas where you're going to put your quadrat. So I've superimposed a grid over the top with coordinates. So the bottom corner there would be one and one, as in the first one in the first row. We then have one and 30, which is again the first, first one, and then we have the 30th. And then we have in the top right corner there, 55 and 30. With the idea being I'd use a random number generator to be able to decide where my quadrats would go. So we can see where the little blue squares are. Those are the areas where I'm going to put my quadrats because the plant isn't evenly distributed. So I want to get a, a fair sample. So here I've placed my quadrat on the floor in that particular zone. And I'm counting the number of clover flower. Now, just to make it easier for you to see here, I'm just putting a little yellow dot on top of each of the clover flowers. And as I count along, I'm looking in each little square. Okay, this is a 0.25 meter quadrat. Uh, it is 55. So here we have quadrat number one, and there were 55 clover flowers in that first quadrat. And then repeat that for quadrat two, for quadrat three, and so on. And you get the values that you see in my table. What you then want to do is to work out what the mean is for the quadrats. And the way that you do that is you add up all of the values. Um, so if I add up all the number of clover flower, that gives me 721. And then I divide it by the number of quadrats that I've taken. That's 25. And that will give me 721 divided by 25, which gives me 30. That's the mean number of clover flower in a quadrat. The next step is I want to work out how many quadrats would actually fit in my field. Now to do that, we take the total area of the field, which is 1,650, and we divide it by the size of the quadrat, which is 0.25 meters squared. Once we've got that value, we times it by 30, because that was the mean value. And that gives us a figure of 198,000 flowers. Thank goodness we didn't have to count them all. Another way we could have recorded our results using a quadrat would be to divide the quadrat up, like this one, into 10 grids going across and 10 grids up. That gives us 100 uh, squares, as we can see. And what we can do is we can use this to work out the percentage cover uh, in each quadrat. So rather than say there were 55, uh, we can look at how many grids are filled up. So if I shade in every little grid here that has clover flower inside, uh, we can see that 47% of the grid is actually filled in. So to summarize, in estimating the number of, in a population, the first thing we've got to do is we've got to measure out the area of the field that you're sampling. The second thing that you've got to do is you've got to record the number of the particular species you're looking at inside at least 10 randomly placed quadrats and record your results into your table. 
Third thing we've got to do is you've got to work out the mean number of the species in the quadrat. And you do that by adding each quadrat together, the numbers, and dividing by how many quadrats there are. Step four, you've got to work out how many quadrats fit into the total area being sampled. And we do that by doing total area divided by the quadrat area. Number five, once you've worked out how many quadrats fit into the area, you then multiply that by the mean value in each quadrat, or the average quadrat, to get the estimate. Okay, the second thing you need to be able to do is something called a transect line to investigate the effect of light intensity or another abiotic factor. So in this field, we're looking, we can see their shade that might affect the distribution of where my flowers are. Uh, also the pH, the wind, um, the amount of water, all these things could affect it. For light intensity, I would place my tape measure underneath the tree and then measure straight out into the middle of the field. I could then place my quadrat at point zero along the tape measure and every meter record how many flowers are in the actual quadrats. So we can see here in the table above, zero in the first, zero in the second, there were two, then five, then six. So we can see the number is going up, the number of flowers. Eventually, if I plot that data on a graph like this, and the exam board expects you to know what this type of graph means, we can see as the, as the um, quadrats move further away from the tree, we see there is a greater number of clover flower present. Okay, now you'd need to be able to say that's as a result of more light as an example. So to summarize how you do a line transect, all you've got to do is place the tape measure underneath the tree in the shade, right at the trunk, and then move it out into the open, with the idea being of placing the quadrat at the zero meter mark, and then gradually moving the quadrat along the line, taking um, regular samples at regular intervals uh, along the tape measure. So we repeat this over and over again, and we record our results into a table and then plot a graph for analysis. I hope you found this session useful. If you did, give us a thumbs up, write a comment below, or click to subscribe. Have a great day.